All right. This one I want to get out of the way really quickly. And then next, um, the Pokemon thing just, just dropped. So we're going to take a look at that right after. Well, it's more like both of these dropped and I just woke up. So we're going to check this out and the Pokemon. And then I've got a thing to do. It's going to be a separate video for the Pokemon thing. I don't know if I'm going to edit it or whatever. I'll get there when I get there. It's a different video. Click. Been very excited to see what Frontiers even looks like. IGN First for the month of June 2022 is all about Sonic Frontiers. We've got gameplay, we've got previews, and we've got interviews from the developers who made it all happen. All month long, we'll be diving deep into what you can expect when the game makes its way to you later down the road. First up, we've got the world premiere gameplay focusing on exploring the mysterious island that Sonic suddenly finds himself stranded on at the start of the game. Be sure to stick with IGN throughout June so you don't miss anything. Until then, here's your first look at gameplay from Sonic Frontiers. Okay. Start very, very slow. Go up sheer walls. Oh no, there's a boost pad right there. I think the person playing this messed up and didn't hit the jump when they went for it. So they had to just adjust and they're like, ah, we're not redoing this. Okay, Mystic Wall lets you climb at angles, doesn't matter. I do not like that coin sound effect. Game in development. So we'll wait. We'll wait to see how it sounds later. I imagine it's still an in progress sound effect. Really? You could just climb the wall. You are not meant to play this this slow. You could tell by how the uh, walk animation plays. It's like the person playing is forcing Sonic to keep walking slow. Hopping in the background. Hop out in the background on the right side. I saw that. Good sound effect. Gotta love it. Boost game, boost game, boost game. Spotted. All these random rails just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. I imagine way more work's gonna go into this, but. They weren't ready for this. I don't mean this in a bad way, but I know it's going to sound bad when I say it. I am getting Sonic 06 vibes from this. And I mean that by the tone of the visuals. And the things going on with the engine. Which sounds bad, but if it's it's been proven through fans that you can make a good Sonic 06, so that's not inherently a bad thing. However, obviously a lot more work needs to be done right now. If you haven't played one of those Sonic 06 fan patches or like remakes, I'm not gonna say I suggest trying it, but I suggest trying it. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good time. And it's it's the nice proof that it wasn't a throwaway idea to make Sonic 06. I just smacked my microphone. Yeah, like, I inherently don't hate anything about what's going on on screen, but... 
I don't know. Something about the way the person's playing, like, I want to grab the controller from his hands and do it myself. Because this is not how I would be playing this game. Feels like Sonic has no boost gauge in a boost game. Because they keep hitting it and typically in boost games he would just hold the button down. That does look pretty. But it also is compressed to hell, because this is an IGN video, and IGN... You couldn't have just posted this on your own channel. You had to give it to IGN. This also strikes me as a playtest area. A little bit. Like, those, uh, we put every kind of event in a playground. Amazing. But what are you collecting? Like, what is that? Why are you doing this? No combat? Hello? Am I insane? Hello?